good thing. Some of these times when I come out on these jobs to pull like uh, another person's trailer for them, like pulling a trailer that doesn't belong to me for somebody, I always get like this feeling in the back of my head that I'm going to show up there and something's not going to be working on the trailer and it won't be able to go down the road because, you know, if the lights aren't working. But, but then again, I did bring, uh, I bring magnetic uh, trailer lights with me just in case lights aren't working. But the biggest thing with me is, is the brakes, the brakes and the breakaway and the tires and, you know, the running gear suspension and, you know, all that's got to be good or, you know, it's not safe going down the road. So that's always the biggest concern I have when I, when I do these trailer jobs for people. But anyways, it's pulling really good. It's got tandem, I don't remember if it has tandem 10,000 or tandem 12,000 pound axles. It doesn't really matter. It's empty anyways. Yeah, tandem, tandem axle dually wheels. And like I said, it's a 30 foot. I think it's like 20, I want to say 25 feet of deck and then 5 feet of dovetail with the flip over ramps. And I mean, it's pulling just fine. It's probably about 6,500 pounds if I had to guess. That's how heavy the, uh, the triple axle I pulled was. And it's the same length and everything with the same dovetail and stuff. So. Okay guys, so this is the, uh, the trailer that we pulled. Let's see if I can get this all in one foot here. I doubt I can. It's pretty long. It's a 30 foot trailer. It's not a monster, it's pretty big. But I brought this about 300 kilometers today. Just arrived to where I'm uh, meeting with the, the new owner of it, who uh, purchased it. It's got tandem duels on it, so they're either 10,000 or 12,000 pounds. But yeah, the trailer's got tandem duels on it, and it's a 25-foot uh, deck and then I think a 5-foot dovetail. And I checked everything a good four times or five times before I even pulled away with it. Uh, this gooseneck actually has a fifth wheel attachment. It's uh, a kingpin. It's got a chain's kind of in the way, but yeah, it's got a kingpin on it, so it actually is a fifth wheel, which I actually prefer anyways. I do have the ball gooseneck hitch, but I actually prefer them to be with kingpins, so it's very nice. And uh, I've got the plug-in in the bed for my seven-way. And uh, yeah, this trailer, it only had uh, one, well, it has two safety chains, I guess, but it one of them is like, you can see, there's no... It's short there and there's no hook on it, but by law, technically, at a law standpoint, you don't have to hook up uh, safety chains if it's with a kingpin and a fifth wheel attachment. I just hooked that one up because it was there. I would have hooked them both up had the other one been there, but before anyone freaks out about breaking the law about safety chains, you technically don't have to have them if you have a kingpin uh, fifth wheel um, hookup with a gooseneck. Um, but yeah, I, you know, if it's there, I'll use it definitely, because I mean, it's safety, right? If the hitch fails, at least you have something, but... But yeah, the springs didn't feel the thing at all. And there's my heavy duties. It's not even touching the bottom overload, and then there's my hell wigs on top. 
So yeah, no problems at all in that regard. But anyways, I'm gonna get this thing parked here and get this figured out.